Hey folks, Quill18 here, bringing you a Let's Play Light of Altair. Um, I don't know much about the background of this game, I don't know how old it is or not. I think it's not necessarily that old, but it's an indie game. Uh, so, it doesn't necessarily have the hottest graphics in town, but it's a super fun little strategy game, uh, sort of like uh, Empire Building. Well, not exactly Empire Building, but you'll see what it's like. A little building strategy game. Uh, it's a little indie game. I got it on Steam, very, very cheap. I've actually just reinstalled this on this computer, which unfortunately means I, uh, I don't have any levels unlocked. I have to play through them in order again, but I thought it might be a good uh, little intro to the game for you guys while I uh, try to unlock some of these things. Uh, I suppose I could go into hard, because I think I'm going to remember what I'm doing. It has been a few months, but uh, yeah, let's give it a try and see what happens. The Last War. What is now known as The Last War was started in the year 2020 AD. By 2018 AD, I guess this is two years before the war, Asia had easily progressed into a power to rival and surpass that of the U.S. Africa's nations were developing at a surprising rate after the wave of revolutions where the old governments were thrown out, speeding democracy on its way. I think there should have been a comma there. Uh, with this, there should have been a lot of things, but whatever. With this new global growth, the demand for oil skyrocketed as billions of people wanted automated transport and industry expanded to keep up with the demand. As global supplies dwindled, the world set its eyes onto the rich oil fields in the Middle East and the cold north. Canada? The desire to fuel... F the desire for fuel far outstripped the world's minor concerns with the atmosphere, and these deposits were depleted as an at an alarming rate. Well, how long is this story? The new fields quickly became the focus of much political pushing and trade treaties. The southern hemisphere started to become concerned as the major powers in the world began to cut back their supplies to each other. Blah, 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 blah. Big world war over uh, energy. Yada, yada, yada. Um, ba, ba, ba. Hey, it looks like Europe was nuked. As, as you, while Europe was being hammered into a radioactive dust. Da, 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 da. Um, uh, world watches America as China competed to become new world superpowers. Uh, looks like China t uh, won, um, and realizing the destruction that the fighting had caused the leaders of the U.S. and China, decided to form a world order and remove the old concepts of countries. That's why the U.S. agreed to this as a matter of debate. Uh, blah, blah. Okay, none of this, none of this matters. Ah, here we go. So the United Earth Order was founded in 2056 A.D. Um, <clears throat> Then 2062 AD, the UEO had recovered enough strength to found the first permanent colony on the moon. There we go. All right, mission. Destination Luna, year 2062. In the solar system, faction, colonial, economy, one star. Whoa! I didn't realize that clicking there would actually make it go away. Well, that sucks. Okay, we're going to have to get to the game soon. Greetings, Commander. My name is Elise Soon, and I will be guiding you through your first assignment at the fledging moon base in order to construct the staging post for the UEO's expansion into the solar system. Your first task is to get the base up to speed by constructing two hydroponic facilities and one solar array. More orders will follow once you have accomplished this. All right, and you can check the orders again on the right-hand side again. Other messages. So here's the moon. And yeah, you can right click around. This is the moon. And so all the all the planets are going to be divided into little hex, hexagons here. And this represents my first colony. So I need to build two hydroponic facilities to provide food and also one solar array, array to provide power. So if I drop a couple of hydroponics, that is fine. It cost me a little bit of money, but I got lots. But you can see there's a power icon above it. That is because uh, there's not enough power. Down here it says I'm I've currently... I need three, but I'm only generating one. So I gotta drop a solar panel down here, and now I'm generating five with for my need of three. So I'm perfectly fine. Wait for the colony to expand. You can use the speed buttons above to speed up time. So I'm gonna do that, and I believe it actually automatically went back to normal speed uh, from super fast when uh, this finished. So that's good. So this colony has matured to tier, tier one, and I got new orders. Now that the moon base has grown into a proper colony, you need to construct a research facility and the power support. The facility will allow you to conduct localized research as well as scanning a planet's surface for useful ore. Okay, so here's my research facility, which unlocked when it, my colony became Tier 1. So I'm just going to dump it here, and I need more power, lots of power to run that. There we go, and actually i got a little bit of spare power, so 
whoops, I actually meant to build hydroponic facilities. I will build a couple more. It'll help my city grow a little bit faster. So, now what? A good work, Commander. The research fate has detected a number of ore deposits on the moon's surface. Construct a new sister colony near one of the deposits. Once this colony has been completed, you should construct landing areas in each colony in order to link them together. So yeah, you can see these are mineral deposits. So I'm going to take my new colony headquarters. They're quite expensive and they take a while to build, but I'm going to drop one right about here. And that should capture three of these. Now these borders will actually expand, but we'll see how that works later on. I'm going to drop it right here. You see, it'll take about 30 seconds. And we also need a landing area in uh, our main, our capital. I think we may also need one in the, uh, the colony. That way they can ship goods from one to another. So I'm building that right away. And it has just enough food to support one more hydroponics farm. So there we go. And three, two, one. Boom. So, we've got that set up. Uh, how do I delete right-clicking? Yeah, get rid of these. More orders. New colony is completed. Well done. In order for this colony to be useful to the UEO, it needs to produce fuel for future expansion. Click on Research Facility to make designs for fuel synthery. Once one is built on the mineral deposits once one is built on the mineral deposits available and provided with power, your fuel cap will increase. Once your primary colony has an ample supply of fuel, you will be reassigned. So they said to click on the research facility, which actually I can do up here, and start researching fuel synthesization. It does cost me a little bit of money per, per tick to do that research, but it won't take very long to finish. And then I will... I need some power here, but okay, there we go. So I finished my research, so I can build my synth fuel stations which generate plus one fuel at a cost for minus five energy. It also makes the citizens unhappy in that area. But, so I'm going to build three fuel depots here, and then more power. Okay, they're good. And I actually need two more, so I'm going to build right here. Why is this complaining? Needs a starport. Oh, I can't build a starport yet, can I? Okay, that's fine. Uh, you know how these missions go in these games. They, uh, there we go. Fast forward through there. They only unlock a certain amount of things, so you can sort of learn slowly, which is good because there's actually quite a lot to this game. And build enough. There we go. So now I have all the fuel I need. The moon base is constructed, proceeding pr perfectly. We'll turn the operation over to our regular UEO staff. You're needed for a new mission. Okay, so these are all the objectives that I've completed. Now, you can see there's an objective here I didn't complete. Usually that happens if you're sort of behind schedule and you weren't, because some of these objectives are timed. Some of them you just have to do them order, but some of them show up at a certain amount of time. And if you weren't sort of doing it at the right, if you weren't in the right place at the right time, you didn't get the opportunity to see what these, this objective was, let alone complete it. Sometimes it's totally hidden, and sometimes it depends on what difficulty you play on. Still, that's not bad. The red planet. I guess we're going to Mars. Uh, now we have set foot into the expanse of space. We just learn how to live there, establish a Martian industry, and prove that colonization will be profitable. Right. Uh, be a site. Yeah, yeah, okay. Go to Mars, select a clear site to colonize. So, yeah, you can see the game, you can actually zoom out and zoom in. Like, there's different, there's other stars. We don't have access to any of that right now. But you've got, you know, quite the range of, of options. There's other planets, and then if we zoom into a planet, then you can see stuff there. In fact, uh, sometimes you have moons. I guess Mars moons. The moons of Mars are not big enough to. Well, clearly Luna is a moon, right? It's, it's, it's our moon. So we're gonna set up a colony on Mars, and that's all we can do right now. It's all, the only build option. So I'm just gonna dump it. Here seems like as good a place as any. And fast forward. Yep. There we go. So we completed our colony, and we need to get it up to tier 1, which means we need some food and power. We just need to get to a certain population point, and that's it. And it'll grow faster with more food, but we're going to want like research colonies, or uh, base and stuff, so I don't know if I want to fill it up exactly. Uh, I mean, the research place only takes one square, but it takes a lot of power, so I'm going to have to build a lot more solar panels too. So let's speed this up. There we go. 